Review iPad 2.4 now includes enhancements to our measurement tool that complement our new features in Review 12 Desktop. These new features make taking measurements in the field even more user-friendly. Let's start with a brand new Review iPad feature, the Center Out Radius tool. You can access this tool along with all of the other measurement features by one of two ways. Either clicking on the tab access in the upper left hand corner, that's that upside down triangle, uh, and going over to the very last tab is the measurements tab. And this is where you can access all of your measurement tools on the iPad, including the center out radius. You can also access this tool, if you prefer, from the markups toolbar on the right hand side. So you'll see there's the markup tools at the top and then down towards the bottom you have all of your measurement tools including that center out radius tool. So this is a useful feature if you're needing to say check ADA compliance or maybe checking the reach on a sprinkler system. You can just go into the room. I'm going to take um, a measurement in this lounge area and uh, you can just tap down where the center is and then drag out and you'll notice review is showing me the actual radius there. Then when you're done, just lift your finger off and you have your radius. That's one way to do it, to tap and then drag. Another way, if you're just checking an existing radius, is to just tap and then tap again to end it. So I could just tap in my center and then tap again to end that radius. Two different ways of doing it. The next feature, a measurement enhancement that I wanted to show you on the iPad is the new wall area default column in the markups list. You can open up the markups list by clicking on uh, the nub at the bottom. And first, I just want to make sure that this column is turned on. It is now a default column in the markups list. So I'm going to click on my cog wheel where it lists all of my columns and scroll down and you'll see there's now a wall area. I'm going to select to turn that on so we can see it. So now, um, and let's go into some of these. Uh, we've got some measurements already taken here. For instance, in this classroom, we've got an area measurement for resilient flooring. Uh, let's go into the measurements tab over here on the left hand side and you'll notice there's now an option for including a depth. So the depth is going to be the same as the wall height. So if I know my wall height in this classroom is 8 feet, I can go ahead and enter that there. And now you'll notice in this classroom, in my markups list, it's showing not only the area, but it's also showing the wall area as well. This used to be something that you would have to set up with a custom column and formulas in review, but now it's automatically set up by default. So you can assign a depth or wall height to every single measurement markup and review will automatically calculate the wall area and also, if it's applicable, the volume for that particular measurement. So that's it. Enjoy the new measurement features on Review iPad 2.4. Let us know how you like it. Thanks a bunch.